We're back on The Chef, you and I, and you know, my granddaughter's coming over for dinner tonight, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some rotini into it, and I don't even boil them. I just add them directly from the box in, and they do beautiful, so you don't have to boil them because you don't want them overdone, so that's probably about a cup, okay, and we're going to let that, we're going to mix that in, and we're going to let that simmer. And like I said, within 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you got a complete meal. Okay, so we're going to put the top on it, and we're going to let it go for a few minutes, 20 minutes. We'll time that, and after that, we'll be done. We'll have uh, sit down and have dinner and show you everything that we've made. We'll be right back. We're back, and we've... Actually, I was taking off the wrapper off of our banana nut muffins because I'm going to taste them and tell you what they what I think of them. So I'm just going to take this off. See how easy that was to do? And guess what? My muffin pan, it didn't have anything in it. And now what I'm going to do is I like a little butter, so I'm going to put a little bit of butter on this. It looks beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Did the camera get to see that, how pretty that was? Just look at this, and that looks beautiful. You can see the nuts, and you can see how nice and done that is. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter on there, and I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. Delicious. Melts right in your mouth, and that's what it should do. It has a really nice banana -y banana flavor to it, banana flavor to it, and the kids will love it. Now you can freeze these, the kids can take them to school, you can do lots of different things with them, and that would be kind of nice. Now, you know, I had the bag well out a minute ago, which I, I just need my assistant to get me a bag, because I'm going to freeze these other ones, because I think it's such a smart idea. And especially if you travel a lot or do whatever, or you want to take it on a, you want to take it um, on a trip. Uh, if you're going to do a car trip, you can do that. And we're going to do this. And we're going to make it real simple. Now watch this. You take one of these sealable bags, okay? And you want to take the sealable bag. You want to take it over the bag well, and you just make it easy. And now it's going to be really simple. I don't have hands free. So I can just put the muffins right in there, right? And we'll freeze them, and it'll be really, really, really good. See, I'm getting a lot of muffins in there. Great. So we'll freeze these muffins. So now, see how simple that was? I'll zip those up and put them in the freezer, and we'll be done. And you just fold that up and put that right there for a minute. And... When the bread's done in about five more minutes, uh, we will show you the bread and we'll slice the bread so you can do it that way to do individual slices if you want, instead of giving somebody a whole loaf. Or you could take it to a sick friend or you could take it to Veterans Day is coming up, go to the VA hospital and bring a couple loaves of bread or a church or whatever. There's all kinds of craft sales going on, offer to do it. Just so simple. You saw how easy it was for us and we're going to check the bread, and we're going to check our meatloaf. And I think our chili is almost done. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I. Don't forget to check our website out at thechefyouandi.com for all of our recipes and our uh, television shows. When, If you can't see it on TV, you can watch it on our, our videos. Okay, we'll be right back. We're back on The Chef You and I show, and this is the part that I love the most, and that is serving the whole meal. And our... Bread is done. It's right here, our pumpkin bread, and it's just cooling, and I'm going to put it on racks in just a moment. So I'm going to move that over here for the cameraman to see. And then we have our meatloaf, which is done, and we're going to freeze this meatloaf because actually um, we are going to be really busy in the next couple of weeks filming all over the place. So. I want to have something when we come home that we've already got in the freezer and I can just take out and have dinner. So I want to serve the chili. The chili's done. If we could get a really nice close-up of the chili. I'm going to put the chili, actually, 
and I added some rigatoni. I told you my granddaughter's coming over, so she likes pasta. So we are going to put this chili. We're going to serve this. It's so beautiful, and I actually had a taste of it during the break, and it is delicious. Easy to do, easy to make, and if you've got a busy schedule like all of us do, this is something really simple to make. And you know, we all, I always keep tomatoes or canned tomatoes in the, in the cupboard, or I freeze my tomatoes. I do lots of different things. Now, look at how pretty that is. And this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I am just so excited. Now, how see how pretty that is? Let's put it over here so you can see it. So you've got your, you've got your, uh, we did our muffins, we did our pumpkin bread, um, our banana nut bread puff, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. So we have two loaves of pumpkin bread. We have our wonderful muffins, which I'll bring over in just a second and we're getting ready to, we're putting those in the freezer and they looked really good. You saw how wonderful they were. So. I don't know what else to say, but bon appetit. Have a great week ahead. Just remember, it's really easy to cook and really simple, simple ingredients. And this is the time of year that you want a hearty dinner. We'll see you next time on The Chef You and I with Katherine Raker. Don't forget to check our website out at thechefyouandi.com. Thanks for joining us on the Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.